Hello Automation Animal Lovers, welcome back to KT Sessions. In previous session, we worked on browser package, web automation, simulator, keystrokes, etc. And uh, today we are uh, going to automate the drop downs and we will see how can we automate uh, drop downs of a particular website or how can we select the values by index, by item, name, etc. Alright, so let's get started. I'm going to use this uh, web page. So you can uh, also check out our uh, website and uh, on this uh, when when you go to this tool section you can see this company career website a uh, tool and uh, if you want uh, URL of the career website of any company you can uh, select the name of the company and uh, you can click on show career website. So it will redirect you to that uh, page. You can copy this URL or you can open this. So we are going to automate this drop down means uh, we will see how can we select the element from this. Uh, how can we select the item from this? Okay. So I will go back to the control room and uh, here. First of all, we need to open this website and uh, then we can uh, select the URL. Uh, but uh, I'm not going to perform those basic steps. You can. Uh, use the browser uh, package and you can open the website first and uh, if you are not aware of uh, all these things you can check out our previous videos so i'm going to directly uh, capture this drop down for this i have selected this start recording option and here i will click on record i'm capturing this drop down okay so it is getting highlight i will click on it And uh, let me select any element. So here you can see it has captured uh, our combo box. Combo box uh, means drop down. So I will click on finish. And uh, here we can see one uh, action. So let me preview this. Okay, it has selected the correct. Uh, object which we want to capture this drop down let me close this and uh, in actions to take on object you can see lot of actions for the drop down first one is get total items get selected index get selected text select item by index select item by text so these uh, five actions are specific for this uh, drop down only uh, select the properties of this uh, drop down i have selected only at html tag and dom x path and uh, in this uh, outcome we can uh, select a variable which will uh, contain the uh, number of total items and uh, i'm using a message box to print the sample string okay so let me run the board uh, because we are not uh, opening this uh, web page from the automation anywhere at 60 so i will uh, manually open this page so that uh, bot can easily access this drop down and uh, here we go we can see 59 so total number of items in this drop down is 59 uh, on okay, case so let's try another action get selected index so for example we have selected this uh, infosys now it will give the index of infos so let me run the board and here we go we can see 3 because uh, at first index we have this select a, camp, select a company then TCS then uh, infosys so let's explore the another action which is get selected text so infosys is selected so it should uh, give us infosys and here we can see infosys so as of now we have uh, taken the inputs from the drop down means we have taken the index of the selected item we have taken uh, 
the name of the selected item but what if we want to give input to this uh, drop down means we want to select a particular element at a particular index or we want to select a particular item uh, by using its name for example if i give uh, fis so it should select the fis no matter what is the position of the fis in this drop down so for that we have these actions select item by index select item by text so whichever item you want to select you can give the index of that item for example if i give uh, 20 so it will select the item which is available at the 20th uh, position and the bot is running it will select the 20th and 20th item and here we go we can see the 20th uh, the item which is present at 20th uh, index is selected successfully and in message box we are not getting anything because uh, we are inputting something uh, we are not uh, getting any output so let me disable this similarly you can select an item with its name if you know the name of the item then you can uh, give the name so for example if i give sap so it will select the sap select item by text and the name of the item is sap and make sure you are giving accurate and correct name only and uh, if you add uh, any extra correct or any blank space so it will not work Okay, so let me run the board. All right, here we go. We can see it has selected the SAP successfully. So this is how guys we can uh, automate a drop down. You can select a particular element. You can get a particular uh, name of the item, index of the item. So thanks for watching uh, this video guys. Do let me know if you have any doubt or any question. And uh, you can explore our blogs uh, on this website. I will give the link in the description box.